Empix Entertainment There was a lot to chew over on this Sunnybank holiday weekend, including the fallout from this week's local elections, the tragic NHS era which left thousands of women at higher risk of developing breast cancer and what exactly is going on with Theresa May's customs partnership plan. We may not have all the answers, but we watched the Sunday politics shows so you didn't have to. Brexit in the wake of Theresa May's plan for a customs partnership getting torpedoed by her new home secretary Sajid Javid, it's fair to say nobody is any closer to knowing what the next few years really look like for the UK, Business Secretary Greg Clark deftly avoided questions from the BBC's Andrew Mara and reports he was close to tears in this week's Brexit cabinet meeting by making it clear it would be better to move towards the right long-term solution sooner rather than later, which is a relief. The pro-Remain minister also set out the government's requirements for new arrangements on trade tariffs. We have three requirements for this new arrangement, at Greg Clark I'm speaking to at Andrew Mara 9 on tariffs. We would not in effect be leaving the European Union. At Jacob, Reese Mudd says the issue with the customs partnership is that to be effective, it would have to keep Britain in the single market as well. Pick.twitter.com slash 7 twif 3 xjz Peston on Sunday, at Peston on Sunday, May 6, 2018 Former Cabinet Minister Justine Greening told Sky Sophie Ridge it was pro-leavers like Reese Mudd who the PM needs to win over as a matter of some urgency. But her fellow backbencher Nikki Morgan cautioned against placing the views of hardline Brexiteers above others, telling the BBC's John Pinar, just because people shall loudest or have the loud voices in cabinet doesn't mean that they represent the majority of conservatives. She added, I think actually what we've seen on Thursday from the local election results is a steady status quo let's get on with it type performance from conservative voters up and down the country, and I think they want the best possible Brexit deal. That's what the Prime Minister wants and she should know most of the Conservative Party is behind her on that. Theresa May needs to get the backing of some of the harder Brexit as says former Education Secretary at Justin Greening. Oster criticised the EU's chief negotiator Michel Barnier for expecting the UK to come up with a solution on its own, she also threw in that she expected the UK to leave the customs union in 2020. The government has previously said we may need to remain until 2023, while full transitional arrangements are put in place. This is a very complex issue and the important thing is to get it right, so the future relationship is one that works for us, and for the EU as well, she told Mar. What we'd like to see from the EU says that dupe leader Arlene Foster is less rhetoric and actually more engagement. It's impossible, he added, but said the government was hamstrung in bringing forward workable legislation by its own backbenchers, the government can't even bring that legislation forward because they are terrified of their own backbenchers and losing, at John McDonald speaking to at Andrew Mayor 9. 6, 2018 Ardent Remainer and Tory backbencher Anna Sobri had the last word on the issue, telling the BBC's Sunday Politics, it doesn't matter what you call a customs partnership, it's what it delivers that matters. It doesn't matter what you call this customs union, says it Anna. Sobri it's what it delivers that matters. After a councillor who tweeted a racist joke was reinstated, winning the party overall control of the Lancashire Council, Business Secretary Greg Clark promised a full investigation into the matter and Lewis told Ridge he would look again at the matter. Are young people ashamed to be a conservative? At Sofa Ridgeski asks Conservative Party Chairman at Brandon Lewis if the party has an image problem pick.twitter.com slash snj960 we will Ridge on Sunday, at Ridge on Sunday, May 6, 2018 Meanwhile, McDonnell promised to visit angry councillors in Barnet. Later this week, who say Labour's anti-Semitism problems cost them their seats? On Peston, Shadow International Trade Secretary Barry Gardiner insisted Labour came within a whisker of snatching Wandsworth Council, one of its key London targets. At Barry Gardiner says it is extraordinary that it Theresa underscore May went running to Wandsworth to say, congratulations guys, you've only lost seven seats to Labour. He adds, that is not a PM who sees the pinnacle of her success culminating in a general election victory. Pick.twitter.com slash 6 dxb 3 Peston on Sunday, at Peston on Sunday, May 6, 2018 Gardiner, who rarely seems to have a Sunday off from broadcast appearances these days, also accepted his party had not done enough to tackle anti-Semitism and said additional steps were being taken, at Barry Gardiner says Labour have rightly come under the microscope, for failing to deal with anti-Semitism quickly enough. Pick.twitter.com slash Zabate Ural, Peston on Sunday, at Peston on Sunday, May 6, 2018, he and Robert Peston also had a very complicated conversation, disagreement about the customs union and the European economic area, but frankly it's too nice outside to get into that. 
Finally, on the subject of local elections, ex-education secretary Greening refused to rule out an interesting future career option when quizzed by Sophie Ridge. Former education secretary at Justin Greening doesn't rule out running for London mayor in the future. Something is going wrong, etched Bakewell on the story that 450,000 women aged 68 to 71 were not invited to breast cancer screenings. In other health-related news, BBC host Andrew Marr told viewers he would be taking a couple of weeks off while he undergoes an operation, the veteran interviewer is reportedly having a tumor removed from his kidney. And finally, this, sorry, but it had to be shared. Both Keen Whistlers, at Peston and at Barry Gardiner joined together for a duet before the show this morning. Can you guess the tune? Picked at twitter.com slash nmsbfw7zvs, Peston on Sunday, at Peston on Sunday, May 6, 2018 And if that's not enough politics to satisfy you, download this week's Commons People podcast and hear us chat over an eventful week.